hermeneutics. Do you understand any of that? Well, if you're a millennial or a Gen Z kid, you probably would. But this would often seem called odd and alien to older people. Those were just examples of how young adults communicate nowadays, especially in the West. They all have one thing in common though, if you look closely. And that is language. Today I'll be talking about hermeneutics, the art of interpretation. First off, let's take a look at the etymology of hermeneutics. The root word of hermeneutics is from the Greek word bermenuin, which means to interpret. Bermenea then means interpretation. These Greek words we call Hermes, or Mercury in Latin, the wing-footed messenger of the god Jupiter to the mortal men. It was Hermes' job to translate the message of the gods to the language of the mortals. His job was therefore important, as any mistranslation of the messages of the gods would be catastrophic to the mortals. The significance of this etymology leads us to our next point. What exactly is hermeneutics? Although we said earlier that it can be considered as the art of interpretation, it is more specifically the process of bringing a thing or situation from unintelligibility to understanding. Also, hermeneutics is primarily concerned with language, verbal, nonverbal, symbolic, sign, and other coverages. But why language? For this, we first have to look at the nuances of language. The richness of a mental experience cannot be captured by oral expression. People do not speak the same language. People do not write in the same manner, especially in spelling and characters. A person may understand one thing differently than another. And also the equivocation differs. It also begs the question, can we escape these nuances of language? Or can we escape language at all? Apparently not. According to H.J. Gadamer, Language is the fundamental mode of operation of our being in the world and the all-embracing form of the constitution of the world. People cannot operate in the world without language. Understanding is language bound. Our heritage and culture, our patrimony and legacy as a people or nation is expressed in language. It is true language we communicate, but it's also true which we misunderstand and misinterpret. Hermeneutics was nothing new though. There are already some disciplines which utilizes hermeneutics, such as interpreting divinely inspired works that won't make sense to the reader prima facie, and also there are understanding historical texts which are often written in our created language that can't be understood in our time frame. Also there is interpreting law. Also, in classical works, it helps in capturing the spirit of these works in the time they were made. And of course, philosophy, since the whole of philosophy is interpretation. Next, we have the hermeneutical circle, which composes of understanding and interpretation. The primacy of understanding over interpretation is not of time, but of nature. In fact, there is a simultaneity of understanding and interpretation. There are not two moments in the process, rather, they constitute the process. With that, we should try to actually understand where exactly a person, a book, or whatever is coming from. The meaning of the words is more than skin deep. Today we talk about the etymology of hermeneutics, what is hermeneutics, the nuances of language, the role of language, disciplines that use hermeneutics, and the hermeneutic circle which make up hermeneutics. Till then, until next time, and thanks for watching.